number one, Novak Djokovic, is through to his fourth consecutive quarterfinals here at the French Open. And I am delighted to welcome him here in the studio alongside former world number one, Mats Wilander. Thanks, boys, for joining me. Thank Thanks you for having me. Uh, congratulations uh, in your match today. Um, it, you took a little bit of time to get going, I think, in the first set, but it was a comfortable win at the end. Well, it was uh, in the end, but I had to earn my victory and I had to... Uh, I had to change my positioning on the court after the first set. I was too passive and he was stepping in and I was I was quite slow. You know, I didn't find my rhythm on the court and, uh, you know, he, he deserved to win the first set. After that, I, I managed to find my rhythm. I managed to find the right tactics and um, it was still uh, still quite uh, quite tough three sets for me to win, but um, I'm glad I'm through. When you play on clay, it seems that uh, things are not going as smoothly as maybe when you play on hard courts. At least I didn't think so. Yeah. There's a lot of stop and go. Are you starting to embrace the, the battle that you have to have with yourself, the weather, the conditions, yeah. your opponent? Well, you have to embrace it, you have to accept it, you know, it's uh, conditions and nature is something you can't affect, you know, it's changing day to day, it's, you know, it's quite unpredictable the weather uh, this year in, in Paris, but it's the same for me and my opponent and you, you gotta get used to it and, and, and try to find the best possible way to win. And uh, in terms of being number one in the world, you're coming out here, you're trying to win the French Open, yeah. uh, you have to drop that feeling or that number next to your name when you go onto the court. Are you watching how well Rafa is playing? Are you watching Roger? I mean, are you on the the same level that where you want to be well look you know uh, it's, it's not uh, possible always to uh, expect from yourself to be 100% concentrated and 100% of your efforts in every mm -hmm. single every single day uh, and so it's even though the most of the people expect top players to, to reach the final stages of Grand Slams and to, to compete for the trophy there are still uh, a lot more great quality players out there and it's uh, you know they push you to the limit like you know Roger played five sets yesterday Rafa has dropped a few sets during the tournament so yeah I watch them play I watch the other matches it's it's my life it's my job sure, also sure. and uh, but I try to to focus on myself yeah Tommy Haas uh, what are your thoughts about him no uh, I mean Tommy is I mean he's 35 years old but he, he moves and he plays he's, he's 20 you know he's playing so impressive uh, tennis you know the during this uh, six, last six uh, Six ten months, and um, he won against me comfortably two sets in, in in Miami. I played a terrible match, but still he played great, and he's uh, he's, he's a very difficult opponent. You know, he he won he, won, he let his uh, opponent today grab a few games only in 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 fourth round of a Grand Slam. That's that's very impressive. So he's he's on a roll now. He's very confident, and uh, it's quarterfinals or Grand Slam, so I'm expecting a tough match. Novak, thank you so much for taking the time chatting to us. Uh, you're certainly on the right track to win. Uh, this one here which you're looking forward to I I'm hope sure. so. <laughs> yeah. thank um, you thank, thank you, you Mats as well you. and all the best thank you good luck thanks good luck thank you very much thanks, thanks.